Hi, I'm David Harrington. Welcome back to Turkster's Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be talking about how to use a claw hammer and nails. The first thing you want to think about is definitely the hammer that you're using yourself. I use a 16 ounce hammer. It's a good mid-range size hammer. You don't want a hammer where the head is loose and moving. That's dangerous. You don't want you know, a hammer with a wood handle that's cracked. Pick yourself up a good hammer and that's gonna be you know, the key to really being able to use a hammer well. The next most important thing is gonna be holding the hammer. You wanna hold the hammer with your thumb pointing down the shaft of the handle and that's gonna allow you to drive the nail straight. Also, when you're driving a nail, you wanna swing the hammer with your elbow. You wanna pivot on the elbow and that's how you wanna swing a hammer to drive a nail perfectly straight and swing straight with your body whenever possible. Another common mistake you'll see when people are you know, first starting to use a hammer is choking up on the hammer like this. That's gonna be a really bad habit to get into. You definitely wanna to learn to hold the hammer on the handle properly and that's gonna be better in the future. So when you're ready to start your nail, to start driving it, you wanna hold the nail close to the material at the bottom of the nail and you wanna just do light taps to start it. Just let the hammer, the weight of the hammer fall onto the nail and that's gonna hold it in place and then you'll be ready to drive it in all the way. So once you've got your nail started and you're ready to drive it in, you wanna swing the hammer so it comes down parallel with the nail, straight parallel with it. And you wanna be looking at the head of the nail and like I said before, swing with your elbow and drive it in. And if you find your nail bends as you are hammering it in, you definitely wanna, if, it, if the nail is actually bent, you're gonna wanna remove it and start again. If the nail is just a bit angled, not quite this angle, but if it was something like that, you can kinda come across the head of the nail and that will sometimes straighten it out. But you're usually better off to remove the nail and start again and that's gonna be the best way to do it. Or the nail is just gonna to continue to go crooked and you're not gonna be happy with it. And whenever possible, if you are restarting your nail, you wanna restart in a new hole. You know, if it's, if it's in a situation where it doesn't matter if you're gonna see the old hole, because if you drive the nail in the same hole, it's gonna continue along the line of the old nail and be crooked again. You're also gonna to wanna to avoid nailing right near the end of a piece of wood, especially if it's hardwood like this. This is poplar and it splits very easily. One thing you can do to avoid that is you can pre-drill your hole. All you're gonna to wanna to do is get a drill bit that's similar to the size of the nail, maybe slightly smaller, and you can just pre-drill a hole. And that's gonna allow the nail to slip through the first piece of wood and then nail into whatever you're nailing into underneath. And that way it's not gonna split. And one thing you're gonna to wanna to think about too if you're doing a clean finished product is when you're nailing and you're getting near the end, you wanna slow down and if you really don't wanna damage the surface, as you get close, you can use a nail set to set the head of that nail in and then you're not gonna damage the material that you're working on. And if you have to remove a nail, all you wanna do is slide the claw of the hammer under the nail like that and just start with little taps and that's gonna get it started and then one clean pull will pull it out. And again, with if you're working with a clean finished material and you're wanting to pull a nail but you're worried about the hammer damaging it, you can just put a piece of wood underneath and that's gonna allow the hammer to pull a nail out without damaging it. Also, if you happen to have a longer nail and you can't get the leverage with the hammer to pull it out, you could get a taller piece of wood, put it under the nail and that's gonna give you the leverage that you would need to pull that nail out. And if you have any questions about any projects you're working on, definitely think about signing up for a project coach, a free project coach at that, at builditbetter.ca. With Build It Better through Turkster, you'll have access to all of our industry pros, all their tips and tricks, discounted shipping, and a lot of great monthly discounts. And remember, the more you build, the better you get. <laughs>